Hi everyone, Stefano here from Soto Zen channel. Welcome to this new video tutorial. I recently uploaded this 3D animation that I made in Blender. And in this tutorial, I want to show you some tricks, some interesting things that I learned doing this. For example, I had to deal with this domino simulation. In this case, each piece of the domino was bigger and heavier than the first one and in order to get a nice and believable simulation in Blender you have to deal with some physics parameters you cannot just run the simulation as it is so I want to show you this and also some other cool trick that I learned along the way so let's jump inside Blender I have a new scene here and I want to add new cube let me also turn on the here these screencast keys um, plugin so the first thing we need to do is to scale down this cube into the shape of our domino piece and when i i want to move this i want to turn on this snap snap to option this magnet icon here so now when i move this it will snap perfectly in this case on my floor plane so let's say that this is okay we are happy with this shape let's apply the scale and now the first thing that we want to do is to have a lot of copies that will increment their scale value one by one so of course we will use the array modifier but in order to get access to the scale value we can't use the relative offset option and instead we will use this object offset option and as reference object we will have a copy an exact copy of our cube here and in this case let me get rid of the array modifier from the copy and let's select back our or our first cube that we made so now here we want to check this object offset option and with this eye drop we want to pick the second one now it seems that nothing happened but if we increase the number of copies and we now select the reference object we see that now if we move or rotate or even scale our object it's clear that the array modifier is using this object as reference for each one of the parameters so let me undo this so let's select again the reference object and with this snap to option on let's press s to scale and holding the control key we can scale our object having a precise increment and because we have the pivot point aligned to the center of this mesh we also need to move this object on the z-axis until they are all aligned we can apply the modifier we don't need any longer and we can also get rid of the reference object so now we have all these copies but at the moment they are a unique mesh and in order to separate them we want to enter edit mode and with the all vertices selected pressing f3 we want to search for separate mesh separate by loose parts now we can go back to object mode and we want to recenter the origin to each one of them and now we finally have all our domino pieces in place and ready for the simulation so let's select them all and under the rigid body let's press let's select add active if we now play our simulation they are all falling down because they are attracted by the gravity force and we need a floor object to stop them so let's add a 
plane we can scale it large enough and in order to better see we can choose this random option okay I want also to apply the scale for the floor object and in the physics properties panel here I want to assign a rigid body but this time the floor object will be passive when you make an object a passive rigid body it will take part into the simulation colliding with all the others but it won't be affected by external forces like the gravity in this case so if now I play my simulation you can see that all the active elements cannot fall down any longer we need now some trigger object in order to make our simulation start in the in the case of my simulation was the finger of my character here you can see that it starts the simulation so what we can use is another cube that we'll place here we can scale it down and we want this one probably not to be visible during the render so let's uncheck the render visibility option and also let's switch the viewport display mode to wire what we have to do now is to convert this into a, a rigid body passive rigid body but with this animated box check it so now this will be a passive rigid body that won't move by the external forces but it will be possible to animate it and in fact we will add a location keyframe and a few frames ahead we can move it on the y axis and add another location keyframe so now if we play our simulation you can see that as soon as this object hit the first domino our simulation starts so far so good but you can see that this is very basic and not so much realistic result and the reason why is that each one of these domino pieces are behaving the same way regardless their size or weight so in order to add some realism and make our simulation more believable we want to play with this value here with this mass value so let's say that our first domino is 10 kilos we want to increase this mass value for each one of these so the second one can be 20 or maybe 15 is enough so now 20 25 and so on you get the idea I speed up the video now okay if we play now our simulation you direct see that it takes longer to complete and that's because the bigger pieces are heavier and and then slower to move also I think they need more friction so so let's go here in the surface response and let's increase this to 0.a and I want this value to be copied to all the others so I select here I right so I right click and select copy to selected we can probably now increase a little bit the overall speed of the simulation under the rigid body world settings we can let's try to increase a little bit this value so this is how you can create a nice and believable dominos simulation inside blender I hope you enjoyed this video and if so remember to subscribe, leave a like or a comment if you have any kind of questions. I remember also to you to visit my new Patreon page where you can read about all my tiers 
and find out all the benefits that comes becoming a supporter of mine. For example, you will be able to download a lot of 3D models and Blender scene associated to the tutorial that I make. So as always, thanks so much for watching this. Have a great day and I really hope to see you soon with another great video here on my channel. Ciao!